Well, the Student Health and Welfare Centers Organization, or SHORCO, is an NGO based at UCT and one of the largest student volunteer organizations in Africa. Now, they're celebrating 75 years of existence this year, and they will embark on a four-day journey today through the Western Cape with their mobile clinic and provide free health care to farming communities over a 750-kilometer distance. And this morning, we're joined by the head of the clinics, Liam Devonish, and head of PR and marketing, Peace Francis. Thank you so much for being here, guys. Thank you nice. for having us. All right. So, Peace, give us a bit of a history uh, of Shoko, where mm. it all began and the main purpose and drive behind it. So, if I had to think of one word to describe Shoko, it would have to be community. Mm. I mean, Shoko is a community of students who are passionate about community engagement, and, and Shoko is rooted in Cape Town communities. So, it started 75 years ago by mm. a UST student who had a passion for providing healthcare services to communities, to the community of Windermere, mm -hmm. which is now the community of Kensington. Um, and since then, Shoko has expanded. We've got health, we've got education, we've got social entrepreneurship. Um, and so students, it's student-led, um, and students um, administer all the services. So Shoko Health, which we are part of, we go into communities weekly, and we provide um, student-run clinics, we provide a screening, we provide medication, um, we do pediatric and women's health clinics. So the education sector, um, they do computer training, um, they tutor, they provide leadership development. It's amazing. That's extraordinary. Yeah. And then you still get time to actually be students and do somewhere, student Somewhere, kind of, in, there. somewhere <laughs> in there. Somewhere in there. And Liam, of course, this is a very important year, yeah. celebrating 75 years. It's a massive milestone. And that's the campaign, the 750 kilometre um, uh, for Shoko. Tell me, what, what's that all about? So obviously, Shoko started as an as a organisation that wanted to serve the underserved communities mm -hmm. in Cape Town. So as we've developed and progressed over the last 75 years, we've had to look outwards and inwards to understand what that means in the context of Cape Town and indeed yeah. South Africa. So with our 75th year coming up, we thought that we would look to see if we could provide more services for the community of the Western Cape at large and yeah. what exactly that would mean for them. So what we're doing is we're embarking on a 750 kilometer journey, as you said, and we'll yeah. be stopping in four communities and we're offering a range of services. Yeah. So our idea is to provide a comprehensive primary healthcare service, which would be the entryway of all patients into healthcare. So that involves health promotion, screening, upskilling of community health workers and development of safe referral centers with our partners, the Trustful Community Outreach and Education, wow. as well as providing medication, prescription, referral, pap smears, family, health, family planning, women's health, pediatrics, um, wow. etc. And this is something that, I mean, it's, it's a, of course a great help to these communities, because otherwise they'd have to travel very long distances to, mm -hmm. to get this kind of uh, healthcare that you'll be providing freely. So where exactly will you be traveling to? Um, so this evening we leave for Clan William in the, uh, in, on the west coast, and then tomorrow we travel quite a distance to Swellendam, followed by Zouar just outside Ladysmith, and then we end the week, uh, the weekend rather, in Rawsonville, yeah. just outside Cape Town. Wow, we wish you all of the best on the journey. And I know that there's a way mm -hmm. that the public can also get involved. You're running yeah. a funding um, campaign on, yeah. online, right? Yeah, we are. So our idea is one kilometer equals one patient. So we're asking people to try and sponsor at least one kilometer, 10, 20, <laughs> as many as they're able to sponsor. Um, and so if they go to our Facebook page, um, at Shoko Health, it's our pinned post. Um, and there's all the details about the trip, where we'll be going, who will be going, um, and how to give. So Excellent. one kilometer equals one patient's um, screening, like Leah mentioned, complete yes. screening, health, promotion, all of that. Fantastic. Yeah. Just by looking at the smiles on your faces, I can tell that this is this is a really passion-driven thing for you. Mm. What does it do for you at the end of the day once you've delivered these uh, important services to these communities and uh, perhaps maybe chatting to some of the community members and seeing what it means to them? What does it do for you? So yeah, for me, I think as a student, you sometimes think you can only get involved in a community once you start working or yeah, graduate. Yeah, yeah. But Choco empowers you and gives you the platform to start doing that now. Yeah. So you are rooted in a community and you are um, engaging with the community while you're still a student. Yeah. What about you, Liam? So I suppose for me it's a point of interest as it provides an interesting model of what primary health care can look like. And we yeah. have um, perhaps different resources that we can apply and in innovative ways to make that happen. And it's interesting, as P says, to get involved when you're a student. And we have the time and the interest to get involved in people's lives specifically and spend time with community members, which I particularly enjoy. Yeah, well, I hope that you inspire many, many more young people out there who are starting their careers as well to do what you are doing. Uh, and if you'd like to find out more about the work of, of Shorko, you can follow them on uh, online media at shorko underscore UCT. Thank you very much, and good luck on, on every single one of those 750 kilometers, guys. Thank you very Thank you so much. much. How's that for inspiration? <laughs>